What is up YouTube and welcome to this Rick and Morty video. We will be discussing the possibility of how evil Morty came to be and how our Rick is possibly to blame based on the season 4 finale. We all showed a lot of love in the videos in the latter half of season 4 for which I'm super grateful. Season 4 ended with possibly one of the best finales to date with Beth finally being revealed as a clone or was it the space Beth that was the clone? Yes, you, you never actually saw which one was the real clone which I guess was okay to be honest. However, it shows how careless Rick is when it comes to cloning. We also saw these clothes can go very wrong with Tiny Rick essentially not wanting to complete his destiny. So he was cloned himself and also cloned his daughter. We know that Rick is pretty darn reckless when it comes to all of his experiments. So what if he actually cloned Morty leading to evil Morty or vice versa? Evil Morty first appeared in episode 10 of season one close Rick counters of the Rick kind. We thought evil Rick was behind the madness, but it was actually evil Morty causing all these issues and later becomes president. As always, there must be a prime Rick and Morty and Rick says that he is the Rickiest Rick. What is not explicitly said, however, is that Morty is the Mortiest Morty. I guess we have to assume he is, but Rick said that it goes without saying and never actually said it. So that is very curious. Maybe this Morty here is not his version whatsoever. I mean, they are both from the same dimension. It has been long been the prevailing theory that evil Morty is actually C-137. 37's original Morty, but there was a rift. Now, Rick could have come from another dimension where his Morty died and simply killed a lesser version of himself and planted himself in what is the best universe for himself. However, Rick was away for 14 years, which is just how old Morty actually is in the show. So he simply could have just replaced his version of Morty with a clone there as well. However, as we saw in the season finale, memories can easily transfer from a person to a clone. Rick obviously cares about Morty in his own really, really messed up way and would want to protect protect him or never actually lose him. Although being exposed to the madness of these ventures is enough to drive any good well-meaning kid mad and he showed multiple times where he just snapped or showed himself to be his true self like we saw in the Purge episode. And most recently, he did amazing, awful things when he had a save point and thought that there were no repercussions whatsoever. Yes, this dimension's Morty is unfortunately inherently bad, it seems, just like even Morty, who is actually very, very bad. So why does Evil Morty actually exist in the first place? Put simply, I believe that he is a clone of our Morty. I think that he is actually the original Morty and the Morty we've had throughout the season thus far, the kind of prime Morty that we've had, he is actually a clone of the evil Morty. Rick was missing for 14 years and he returned where the exact age Morty is. And that is very, very curious there. But what if this isn't Rick's first Morty? What if 14 years ago, he did have the same experience of growing up with a C-137 Morty? only for things could go completely south. I think that Rick tried before to nurture M Morty, but Rick being Rick somehow exacerbated Morty's own evil inside him. We saw how savage Summer can get. We saw how Beth's clone led her to be in the Luke Skywalker of the universe. So the Sanchez family actually have some pretty dark stuff deep with inside them. What if Rick really messed up with Morty, leading him to become the evil Morty? Morty would have enough knowledge to go around the universe and kill Rick's in revenge for being abandoned and subsequently cloned and well repacked by Rick with a new Morty there. He was the mastermind of the elaborate plan to kill the main Rick and as well as that he is now the president of the Citadel. Rick could have placed this clone Morty in the Smith family replacing him there with a clone that he engineered to maybe not totally turn evil. But his true self does come out every now and then. We have Rick have his year anniversary of being back in the family's life and he missed all of Morty's life because he was away for 14 years there. But we see photos of him with a baby Morty a couple of times, which is very, very interesting. This could be his original run with Morty, but he is messed with the memories of the family and placed this new Morty there using mind blowers. As we know, he's quite liberal with those uses there and make the family think that he went missing and well, that their kid never actually turned evil. All the while, Morty is out there angry. Maybe he thinks that he actually died. What if, well, this is an interesting one here, is that the intro never actually changes, or at least one part of it never changes. Morty is always being eaten by a monster. So what if that was the monster that actually perceived to kill evil Morty, and what if Rick actually let it happen, because he never actually looked back to try and save him. And then 
Morty, or even Morty, goes on to be his awful self. Replacing themselves in dimensions is a common theme, so it may not be, obviously, manipulation of time and dimensions, but I do think that he just simply came back 14 years later, and he has got a mulligan here with this version. He's had 14 years with Morty, and now he wants to undo the worst thing that he ever did, and that was let down his grandson. Even Morty could have found this out and set off on his vendetta to kill the Citadel and kill all of the Ricks as well, because he has just turned completely evil. Just like Beth was cloned to go on an adventure, and I think that the homemaker Beth is actually the clone, the clones of the family two turn out to be pretty docile there. So the Morty and the Beth clones, they are very docile, and they are the clones, while as the evil Morty, and of course as well, the space Beth, they are the original versions. They are the uninhibited versions there. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Are you interested in this idea? Do you think it has much credence? And I want to hear your theories on Rick and Morty as well. And also, please do subscribe with notifications on so you never, ever miss a video. And please be kind and give us a thumbs up if you did enjoy this madness. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.